In this video, I'm going to show you how I was able to take my short film California and make it go viral with over 375,000 views. I'm going to show you how to work on the title, the thumbnail, the description, and what other parameters you need to look at in your analytics to make sure that your video is getting the traction that it needs. But before I show you how I did it with my film, I need you to hit the like button and just drop me a comment that says, hey Axel. That way I know that you're watching and it really helps with the algorithm. Okay, so let's get to it. When we made this film uh, called Call For Yet, I made it with the actress, writer, and co-director Linda Solo. And we finished the film, it took a few months to get it done, and then we were really excited about taking it to festivals. What happened was that when you do the festival round, a lot of people are afraid to put the film online because then it might not get accepted into festival. That is actually a big myth. Most of the major festivals will still accept your film even if you had it online. In my personal opinion, I wouldn't even worry about festivals that much. I'd much rather use that money towards promoting the film on social media because you get the most people to see it. And then the more people see in the, your work, the higher the chances are that you're gonna get funded for another project. So in this case, we made the film, and as you can see here on the analytics, it has 375,000 views uh, since it was published a few years ago. We're gonna look at here the retention. I'm just showing you a little bit of the, the analytics and the back end. Uh, this film brought over a thousand subscribers to my channel, which was amazing. And in the reach, it has over six million impressions. And most of them have been from YouTube recommending my content. This is the key to making your video go viral. You want YouTube to put the video in front of other people so they click on it. If this number is not massive, you're not gonna get a ton of views. Because as you can see here, six million people saw it and then only 4% click through to actually watch the film. So the impressions just means that six million times that little picture, the thumbnail, was shown to someone and then only 4% of those people who saw that in their screen actually clicked on it. The next one is the YouTube search. And this is where I think the key is to start ranking so people see the video initially and then YouTube starts recommending your video to others. So how do you do that? If you go back here and you see the reach, when it, I first released it, it didn't have that many impressions. So if you see here, in the first 130 days, it had eight, almost 800,000 impressions, but now it's like over 6.2. And if you go to an overview, same with the views. Like we released the film, and in the first 30 days, it only had 3,000 views. And to be honest, this had been one of those films that I, I didn't expect it to do as well as it did. And when I was analyzing it recently, it, it's like one of my best videos in, in the channel. And this is the reason why. When I posted the video, I didn't do much on the description other than just like the, the name of the film and kind of a synopsis of it. And then I just wrote all the names of the people who worked on the film. The big change came a while later when I learned from a class that I took a few things that you can do to basically skyrocket those views. And it's all about the search results. So when you go to the details of the video, initially I had named the film just like California, a film by Linda Solo, and it had the name of the other actors, and that was it then I realized that other films that were similar, they always had the domestic violence. In this case, this is the topic of the video. They always had the domestic violence short film thing in the title. And if you go here to YouTube search, when you search domestic violence short film, these are the films that are uh, popping up. So you can see they usually have that domestic violence on the title. And that's the most common search term for someone to find your video. Now, something that is really important, it's not only because of YouTube and the search result inside of YouTube, this also goes on to Google. So if you go to Google and you search domestic violence, you want to rank here in this search. 
and that's why you want the video to have that term. In your case, if you're doing uh, like a short film that is about cars or a short film that is about the ocean, whatever it is that the theme is, make sure that the first words that the title of the video cover are those words that you have on the theme because that will guarantee that you're ranking higher than other videos. And also, you're going to be recommended right next to other videos that have that same title. The next thing that we want to work on is the description of the video. This is super important. YouTube cannot analyze the video content itself to know what the video is about. It can only analyze like the sound, the dialogue, and the description because it's text. So when you think about search terms, you're just searching in a database. So you want to put as much as possible in that description that relates to what the theme is and what the search term is. So potentially you get indexed higher and you rank before other videos. A trick that I did with this video specifically was the following. Whenever you search domestic violence on Google, what you see is the National Domestic Violence Hotline number and you see this information. So if that is what's showing on Google, that's what I'm going to put at the top of my description. And at the same time, I'm helping the theme of the video, which is to show domestic violence. So in this case, it worked perfectly. My search result has this website that Google is also pushing towards. So once I put that in my description, Google is going to link the two and say, we have already ranked this information high up on our search. This video has the same description as this result that we already uh, cleared. So it's the video that can rank higher. So that helped us rank really high up. And after that, I just added a little bit of the story. And after that, I just added a lot of information that has to do with domestic violence. You want to make sure that you're maxing out the amount of characters that you can put on the description. This will give the search engine a lot more information and be able to make the video rank higher. Again, your goal is to rank higher and the description is really important for that. So I'm going to add a lot of data from articles that are related to domestic violence in other websites. Uh, in, the, in this case, I'm doing the IMDb link of the film because when people are searching for films, usually IMDb is gonna rank first. So I'm adding that there too. And then of course, I'm gonna add all the people that were part of the film, the credits. So if anyone is searching for those people, your video could rank. But this doesn't really affect that much the ranking. It's just a nice thing that you do for all your crew members. Next, we're going to talk about the thumbnail. Like we showed before, the impressions that thumbnail is the first thing that people see. So you need to make sure that your thumbnail is really impressive. So in this case, when we go to the analytics, we're going to analyze if the thumbnail is working or not. And this is something that you should do often. So at the beginning of this video taking off, I was checking the click-through rate, which is that number of what percentage of people are actually clicking on the thumbnail after they see it and I was trying to make sure that I could optimize it. If the thumbnail was not giving me a number that I liked, I would create a new design and upload it. And also you can test, like with this thumbnail, I was getting 3%, with this thumbnail, I'm getting 1%. And a one point change can be massive, because think about it, it will be 1% out of 6 million people, which is a big number. I don't know off the top of my head what it is, but these are big numbers once you get into those percentages. So in this case, how do you see if the thumbnail is doing well or not? So you will go to analytics, then go over to reach, and you're going to see your impressions click-through rate. This number right here is the percentage of people that saw it and then actually clicked on it. Average on YouTube is between two and 3%. In this case, having a 4.2% is actually pretty good. So I'm happy with that number. And I remember the first like few months of the video being up, I would change the thumbnail and try to test it every now and then just to make sure that it was getting a good result. Another thing that really helped the success of this video was the engagement in the comments. This is something that you cannot force, but you can actually 
increase once the comments start coming in. You need to make sure that you're replying to every comment. And one tip that I will give you is reply with a question. And talking about questions, I really would love it if you drop me a question in the comments. It just helps with the algorithm and it doesn't cost you anything. So if you could say just, hey Axel, and ask me something, I would love to come back and interact with you in the comments. One last thing that I wanted to touch on about making your video viral is not to worry too much about other social media platforms. In this case, if you're putting your video on YouTube, the core of the views are going to come from YouTube. They're not going to come from your Instagram page, your Twitter page, your Facebook page. I want you to share the video there, of course, but I don't want you to obsess over it or put a lot of hopes in that. For example, my Instagram account is a lot bigger than my YouTube channel and still whenever I share a link on my Instagram account, it's a very small percentage of people that go to click on the link and actually go to YouTube because they're just scrolling or watching stories and they don't want to go to YouTube. Now, if I'm promoting more on YouTube, creating like picture uh, posts and sharing that link with other people and also going on other videos and commenting with those people who are there commenting on that video, that makes for a lot more engagement and that actually moves the needle. In this case, when you look at Calforia, I shared this video every other social media you could think of. And even though I did, the amount of external views that the video got was only 1.4%. So a lot of the times, me and my friends and like other filmmakers are obsessively sharing the link on their social media, either like Twitter or Instagram or Facebook, but it doesn't really matter. So you don't want to bother people in that platform with posting that link and asking them to come over to YouTube when in reality, they're not gonna do it anyways. So you might as well, don't worry about it. In this case, out of the external traffic, that is still broken up into many other social medias. So Google search was actually the biggest one from external. It wasn't even like my Instagram and Facebook came in second, but it's only 6% out of 1%. So the math on that is crazy low. It's just not worth it. So those are my main tips in order to make your short film go viral. You need to make sure that the title includes the theme of the short film. You need to make sure that you max out the description field with as much information as possible about that topic so you show up on the rankings. Then you want to make a killer thumbnail and be monitoring that the click-through rate is actually effective. If it's not, change it, change it, change it. You can always change the thumbnail and it actually helps because you're re-indexing the video and YouTube sees it as, oh, there's a new change on this video, let me put it out there to the audience and see if they respond. And lastly, remember, don't worry too much about pushing it on social media outside of YouTube all the time. It doesn't matter that much. Focus on YouTube, talk to people there, and keep creating content for that platform. I hope this video was helpful. Please, please, please make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. It really helps with the algorithm. And if you can, send this video to a friend who might find it useful. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in another video. Uh, Eddie!